morning everyone hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel so my name's andrea and i'm losing weight following the slimming world plan so apologies there's not been a vlog for a couple of days but basically on thursday it was my husband's birthday so i did have an off plan day that day and you know this is all about slimming world and about losing weight being healthier and i didn't think anyone would want to see what i had on thursday because like i say it was his birthday we're in lockdown so we thought we'd celebrate it properly with plenty of yummy stuff, um, which unfortunately wasn't Slimming World friendly. But we had a lovely day. So yeah, it was definitely well needed. Um, and then yesterday, just because I was off plan on Thursday, it rolled into yesterday as well, which was extremely naughty. Um, wasn't ridiculously bad so it wasn't like for breakfast lunch and dinner i had loads of horrible nasty stuff or should i say unhealthy stuff not nasty stuff because it's gorgeous um but um i didn't end up having anything to eat during the morning or anything like that or even into the afternoon because i'd eaten so much rubbish on the thursday um i just ended up having a mcdonald's yesterday evening instead so again didn't think that number one you'd want to see empty plates and number two that you wouldn't want to see a mcdonald's so that's why i'm vlogging today so i am definitely back on plan today i am not taking it into a third day off plan because i think sometimes when you do have an off plan day it can spiral and it rolls over into the next day the next day the next day and then because i normally weigh in on a monday i would be quite easily to say in my own mind do you know what i'm just gonna start again on monday but i'm not gonna because i'll do far too much damage i'm genuinely the type of person that can look at a chocolate milkshake and my backside will jiggle for a week i don't even have to eat the stuff but i can easily put weight on so starting the day with a brew in my witch's mug in my little cauldron i really love this mug um so starting the day with a brew just got a cup of coffee with some of my healthy extra a allowance of milk like I say, I plan on having a good day on plan. I've got my um, meal plan at the side of me and I am picking up an Asda click and collect today. So, or should I say my husband will do. Um, it's snowed by us, so I'm sure he's going to want to go out in the car to go and get that Asda order. He loves driving in snow. Um, so I'll do a separate vlog from this one of my shopping haul and I'll also include my meal plan for the week as well so you'll see all the meals that are going to be 100% on plan um, breakfasts, lunches I've also included and yeah that's it I'm going to say goodbye Alana's just crawled over we're the only two people up I mean we didn't get out of bed until half past ten as it is um because alana she's just like a mum she loves her sleep so she's not one of these babies thank goodness that gets up at like five o'clock in the morning she doesn't see the day until at least gone 10 a.m so yeah i always get her sleeping so yeah i'm gonna say goodbye and i will catch you when i have something to eat so take care guys and i'll see you in a bit so it's dinner time and I'm not feeling mega hungry. Again, I think it's because of the whole fact that I've eaten rubbish for the last two days. Um, but obviously back on plan again today. So I'm just going to have a bit of fruit. Um, bananas are free on the plan. The grapes are free on the plan as well. Blueberries are speed and the apple is speed too. Um, and then I'm just going to make myself uh, a big bottle of squash. Some sugar-free squash, the cherries and berries. Um, to wash it all down with because I do definitely need to up my fluid intake rather than just brews and Pepsi Max. So this is what I'm going to have for lunch. If I should get hungry between now and dinner time and I'm thinking I'm going to make Mayflower curry for dinner. If I should get hungry between now and then then obviously I'll pop back on and I'll show you what I have. Otherwise I'll see you at dinner. So for dinner tonight I'm going to make the Mayflower curry and I make, I'm making a corn and vegetable one. Um, I'm just going to batch cook it and portion it up and each portion as you can see there it's four sins um so this box of powder here makes nine portions and then like i said i'll just portion it up 
shove some in the freezer and then have some for this evening's dinner. Um, so I just thought I'd show you the ingredients that I'm going to include in mine because I know that a lot of people just have like chicken and mushroom or chicken and pea, something like that. So just a bit of a different idea. So corn um, pieces that I'm using are protein and free on the plan. Um, really, really nice. I really like them. I mean, I eat chicken anyway, but I do really enjoy the corn pieces. I'm putting garden peas in, which are free. I'm putting some bean sprouts in, which are speed. I'm using fry light to fry it all up. And obviously that's free on the plan. Dark soya sauce, which is free. That's for the egg fried rice. Bamboo shoots, sliced water chestnuts. They're both speed. Green pepper, speed, red onion, speed, carrot, speed, and then the Mayflower curry, like I've said, four sins a portion for that. Some crushed chilies, which are free, chives, which are free, garlic granules, which is free, and then the long grain, um, easy cook rice, which is free. And that's obviously going to be for the egg fried rice, which I'm going to be using eggs with it. Um, and they are free and protein. So that's why I'm popping in, and then I'll show you as it's going along. So Alana's come to join me to make dinner, aren't you darling? You got bored of watching daddy's boring film, didn't you? So come to join mummy in the kitchen. And while mummy cooks dinner, she's having some Watsits and a bit of Barney Bear. Because again, she takes after her mummy in more ways than one. She loves a grub as well. Don't you darling? Yeah, say hello. Oh, dropped it. So I also thought I'd show you the vegetables that I've chopped up for the Mayflower curry. So this is everything. I've just not added the corn chicken style pieces yet. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry this lot off with a bit of uh, fry light and also some garlic. And then once that's done, I'll add the Mayflower, not the Mayflower, sorry. I'll add the corn pieces, make up the Mayflower, put it all together and then let it cook away while the rice is on. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So that's it, that's the Mayflower curry made up. And as you can see, it's absolutely huge. It's made so much. Um, it is a really tall pan. And I just think bulking it out with loads of veg and um, everything like that, it just ends up going a lot further. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna portion it up now and then I'll show you what I'm having for my dinner. So there we go, that's it all portioned up. So you can see that I've got nine there and they are quite generous as well so it's not like the really skinny small portions they're quite full and these are the deep tubs because you can get a smaller tub but they're they're quite deep ones so nine portions there full of speedy veg um free veg and the corn chicken style pieces which is free in protein so just four sins a portion so there it is, all portioned up. You can see I've got some egg fried rice, which is completely sim free. The rice is free. The eggs are protein and free. They've got chives in that are free. And it's all done in some fry light and some soy sauce, which is also free. That's my Mayflower curry. And what I did was the other portions are all just there cooling down before they go in the freezer. Um, so I just, because I portioned them all out, I've just used one of those. So I've only got eight left now. And then there I've got a massive pile of jalapenos, which are speed. And then I've got a mixed crunchy salad. So it's got iceberg lettuce, carrot, cabbage, tomatoes and cucumber. And again, all speed. And then I'm washing it down with my usual Pepsi Max. So that's dinner this evening. Just four sins and I'll let you know when I have some snacks. So for snack this evening, after my Mayflower curry, which was balls, by the way, but I always love Mayflower curry, I'm going to have myself six Brazil nuts. These Brazil nuts are these ones. They're from Asda. Can't see under that. They're from Asda, and according to the app, you can have six of these for your healthy extra B choice. And I've not had my healthy extra B yet today, so I thought I'd have them in a bit of a different form instead of always having like hi fi bars or the skinny crunch bars or any form of bread. So, six Brazil nuts for my healthy extra B. I've got two squares, which is this chocolate, the Lint Excellence 90% dark chocolate. Absolutely love dark chocolate, so the darker the better for me. Per square, it is three sins each, and I've got two sins there, um, two squares there, so that makes six sins. I've got some grapes which are free, and then I've got a sliced bourbon apple which is speed. And then I'm going to give one of these Activia yogurts, the vanilla ones, a whirl. 
and that's for half a sin. So I didn't have any sins earlier on today for my lunch. I just had fruit. I've had my healthy extra A in milk in my brews. I've had a few brews today. Um, haven't had a second healthy extra A. Dinner was Mayflower curry, which was four sins. Otherwise, it was free or speed. And then six sins for these, which comes up to ten. And then half a sin for that. So that means I'm finishing the day on ten and a half sins. So I won't be having anything else um, to eat today. I'm just going to have probably a bit more Pepsi Max and then that's literally it. And I'm going to grab an early night. So I hope this vlog has been useful. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will catch you all tomorrow for another What I Eat in a Day. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you later. Bye.